Hello everyone, this is Mike with Budget Tech Reviews here, and I wanted to get a small video of customizing your Android. And basically, I get a lot of comments, questions and comments on a lot of my videos saying, well, how did you get this, how did you do that? And if you guys aren't familiar with Android, uh, or, you know, I guess how to use it in general, uh, you should know that most or all Android phones are customizable. Now, when I say customizable, uh, it could mean different things. Uh, you, I mean, if you guys know how to root phones or add custom ROMs, ROMs to phone, like my buddy uh, Rob Torres, who has a channel that he explains a lot of stuff, then you know that's one thing. And custom ROMs, uh, I they can change the appearance of your phone, add features and whatnot. And etc. There. So uh, here, <clears throat> I just want to show you basic things like how to change a launch launcher, how to add widgets, and all that. Now, for those that are watching and don't know what a launcher is, a launcher is basically a skin. And as you can see here, you, uh, right here in the back of the phone, I'm using uh, the Samsung Galaxy S3 Live Wallpaper. Now, a live wallpaper. If you guys do not know what a live wallpaper is, it's a wallpaper that can either do things when you touch the screen like that, like as so, or it's just the wallpaper in general that moves around in the background, and it just may it just adds a little customization to the phone like that. So, and as you can see here, I have the HTC Sense, one of the Sense widgets and clocks there. Not a hard widget. Most of these widgets are uh, findable on the Play Store, and you can download them and you can resize them and whatever you want to do with that. Uh, same here. Here are just little widgets that I you can add to the screen. There's a music widget where you can play a song just by pressing play. And I have the volume really loud. And uh, of course, up here, as you can see, I have a little shortcut toggles on my phone. Uh, stock Android does not have this, and I actually customized it to where it, I could have those notifications up there. And I will show you guys how to do all that in this video, okay? So let's start off with launchers first, okay? This is pretty much stock Android, guys. Uh, from what you see down here, uh, those little uh, uh, icons down there, they're all interchangeable, of course. You can move them around just by holding them down and moving them as so. And, of course, right here we have folders where you can drag and drop different uh, apps inside there. So, like, let's say... I have the camera app down here, right? But let's say that I want to combine that with the gallery. Let's go back to my stock launcher. Let's say I want to combine that with my gallery. I'm just going to drag and drop it down there like that. So that's pretty simple, guys. It's not uh, hard to to comprehend there, if you know what I mean. It's pretty easy. Let me move that back out just for reference. <clears throat> okay, now, what is a launcher? Now, let me go to the Play Store and download a launcher for you guys. And this is pretty simple stuff, guys. I mean, uh, changing the way your phone looks is not that hard, especially on Android. A lot of people, they, they buy phones like the HTC One and the Galaxy S4 because the Galaxy S4 and HTC One have their own launchers like TouchWiz and HTC Sense, which are custom launchers that are already made to look good for you out of the box. So anyone that has vanilla Android, like with the phone such as this, you can just... Uh, download different apps or launchers that can basically mimic or simulate the same thing. So, right here, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna make this phone look like a Windows 8 phone. Okay, if you guys aren't familiar with uh, Windows Phone, uh, you guys know that their that their um, uh, main scheme looks like t it's a tile based basically. And I, I'm gonna show you right now. I'm going to download the Launcher 8 free, and I don't know if you guys can see that or get that. It's kind of hard to tell on my on my camera phone, but I'm going to pick the second option here. When you type in Windows Launcher 8 or Windows 8 Launcher, that's going to pop up, and it's be, uh, developed by Keyhang Division Team, or yeah, whatever you want to call it. Go ahead and just install that, and let's take a look here, and I'm going to show you guys that you can make your phone look like a Windows phone right out of right out of the box really easily. Because a lot of people, they don't like the way Android looks. Maybe maybe you like the way a Windows phone looks, and you can actually have that without having to use a Windows phone. So here we go. Once you download a new launcher, 
this is going to pop up. It's going to say, com when, once you press the home button, it's going to ask you to complete the action using uh, one of these. And I already have Nova Launcher downloaded, which is another launcher. The stock launcher is just going to say launcher down there. And right here is the Windows 8 launcher. So I'm going to click Windows 8, and we're just going to do it just once because I don't want to, I don't want to, uh, how do you say, it? I want to go be able to go back. So, so just once again, okay, see, there you go. If anyone's familiar with the Windows 8, uh, you can pretty much interchange all these tiles also to look the way you want them. You can resize them. If I want to make them bigger, I'll make them bigger. And let's let's go to the lock screen also, okay? Just just to show you because show you, it changes the lock screen also. Let's turn it off real quick. And from there, instead of this, this stock normal lock screen, it's going to take you to this lock screen, which is an average Windows lock screen. So usually if you, you, you would be able to drag the notification bar down on most Android lock screens like this. With this lock screen, you have to swipe up. So just like that, and it's made to mimic, mimic the look of a Windows phone that has the Windows 8 uh, version of it. And you can see here all the apps that are downloaded, made to look like the way Windows Phone 8 is designed. So, I mean, it's got your time. You can move this around if I want to move it up. Let's say I want to move that up all the way to the top instead. You can do that. And let's say I want to resize my... Let's say I want to resize my messaging widget and put that, like, on the very bottom. And as for... And as, Etc. Just like that, guys. All right, and press the back button so it'll so it'll cancel out there. So basically, you can see it left a little blank tile there. So uh, pretty much, you can change the tiles to be whatever you want them. Basically, it's not that complicated. All you have to do is just basically click them, hold them down, and you can edit the tile, change the color, etc. So from there, as you can see, that's pretty cool. I kind of like the way Windows Phone looks like that. But you know, I'm I'm a guy that likes to have a background, so. So I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to choose Nova Launcher 8. Now, Nova Launcher is made a little bit to look like stock Android, but it has little features that you can use. And here, I'll put always. It has little features that you can use, and here I don't have that much stuff set up. So, so let's take a look. I'm going to... Let's see if I can delete this, actually. Like, on normal stock Android, like this little toolbar up here, I wouldn't be able to remove it. It won't let you remove it, so... Here, I'm just going to try to remove it. Hold on, let's take a look. Remove, there you go. So, as you can see here, uh, if you guys can't tell, it has actually a cube effect when you scroll around. And and that's not uncommon for this app. But, like, let's say I were to just use a regular wallpaper. Let's go to wallpapers, right? And... Well, I'll go to regular wallpapers. I'll choose the Nexus one there. I don't know why they have this one, but it's a Nexus wallpaper. I don't know if you guys can see that, but when you turn turn it like that, you can see that it's turning like if it was a, a big cube. You now, from here, if you want to change the number of, of screens, you just press home again, right? And you can add or delete screens, as many screens as you want. With stock Android, I think you only get like five or six out of there, so... With uh, different launchers, you can have you can change the amount of uh, home screens that you want, of course. So let's go to the widget section and show you guys. Like, I will show you how to add a clock widgets. Basically, like I said, they're they're just there to add to your screens, so you can customize it the way you want it. Now, of course, me, I like to have the the clock on the home screen. So, like this one is the HTC Sense clock that I had there. I'm just going to click it and I'm going to put it right there on top and it's going to ask me if I want to create it, yada yada yada, I'm going to skip all that mumbo jumbo. All of this is just if you want to change the color and resolution and whatnot and it, and different settings like if you want to add a battery temperature and Fahrenheit, etc. I'm just going to go all the way down and press OK and boom, there's, there's the clock widget right there, okay. Now in Nova Launcher you can actually add folders to and actually change the way the, the folders look so like let's say I cut, drag this into here uh, and you see how it's like a little circle basically well if I go to settings or whatever and I go to folders right here I can actually change the folder transparency and so right now it's like a solid black and I can actually change the way it looks from stack to grid to fan so I'm going to change it to grid and I'm going to change the little circle from there to like let's say 
a disc because I like the way discs look and I'm gonna label the icon so I'm gonna go all the way back and I'm gonna and as you can see here the shortcut button actually looks different so from there you know I can add more and you know the more apps I add in there you can see you can see that they just go out there Google Play Music like that so you can see that you know when you open it up it's gonna look like that obviously and you can name the folder to whatever just say whatever whatever and etc so so not not complicated to actually you know do little things like this uh, people ask me well how do I get a background to do that and whatnot so as you can see there it's doing that so um I guess some, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Um, uh, like I said, you can look up cu uh, custom launchers just by typing out launcher in the Google Play Store. And uh, just work around it by tweaking it as much as you want. I mean, if you guys have a hard time, I mean, there's always video tutorials such as this one. But I'm just showing you guys how to get basic things done, obviously. So uh, I guess that's going to be it for now. My camera's dying. Thanks for watching, guys, and please subscribe.